Well, to me, you know, it just became clear uh, with that experience and then, you know, many experiences I had later that consciousness is a cosmic phenomenon. This is just part of existence. This is not something that uh, is, is created in our head, in our brain. And so I look back at the evidence that we have, because uh, there's a claim that, that we have proven, you know, beyond, beyond any doubt that consciousness is coming out of the brain. And I realize it's not true. Um, if you look at it, we have an enormous number of uh, experiments and observations, clinical observations, indicating that there are very close correlations between the anatomy, physiology, biochemistry of the brain and states of consciousness. But none of it is really a proof that consciousness comes actually out of the, uh, you know, out of the brain. Uh, it would be like saying, because there are correlations between uh, the quality of the sound and the picture in the television, and the components in the set is a proof that the, the whole program is generated in the box. So uh, I don't question the relevance of the observation suggesting correlations, narrow correlations, but I certainly question the conclusions that were made. This is, in formal logic, you call it non sequitur. It doesn't really follow. It's still certainly opens uh, another possibility or other possibilities uh, suggesting that uh, consciousness mediates mediates uh, I mean the, the brain mediates consciousness but it does not does not generate it you know? if you just look at the whole uh, range of worlds that you can experience in these states the idea that this would be produced by some pathological process, you know, in interaction with consciousness simply doesn't make sense. Because there is so much, so much beauty, so much sort of uh, artistic quality, you know, that uh, in those inner worlds that the idea that those are pathological products simply doesn't make any sense.